What is up guys, welcome to a new episode of Fully Modded. The Ocelot Jackal, it keeps, cars keep going by and ruining my view. Um, the Ocelot Jackal, I've been looking to do this one for ages, but it just never spawned when I needed it to. Um, it's very jag Jaguar looking on the front, but is it just me, or does it look a bit like the like a new Mondeo, like Titanium X? It definitely has that look to it. Um, but very jag looking at the front I don't know leave a comment down below and let me know what it's based off of um, I suppose we should just fully mod it really um, I do like the LED the LED bar touch. straight along the back as one whole lot it looks kinda cool so probably gonna be about 15 mods 17 so it looks to be like there's gonna be um, a bit of option to this so 100% armor race brakes Custom front splitter, which is the only option, and custom rear bumper. So they're just really splitters. Um, level four engine exhaust. We got a dual exit, which takes it from double to quad. Hood. We have ram air hood or vented. Kind of like the ram air hood. Yeah, it looks cool. Yeah, we'll go with that ram air hood. Um, any old horn. Headlights, Xeon. I spoke about this last episode um, about neons. <laughs> we'll just put them on in this one because it um, should work out alright. Pony pink. <laughs> black. Black light. We'll go with that. It's, it's pretty much a blue. And white says black light. Plate, yellow on black. Right. Let's see what we can do here, colour wise. I already like Formula Red on it. I already like Formula Red, and that is what we're gonna take. With a per lesson of Ice White. Yeah. Done. Decision has been made. That did not take long. Um custom skirts, which would have been better if they had the option for um colour coded for front and rear um, because it, it does look a bit out of place having the rear and front black and the side not but oh shit <laughs> I just backed out quick we're not finished it's not we're not ready <laughs> get back in it's looking good so far though it's looking good so far I'm happy with the color back in spins like a bitch What's wrong right, right now? when you're quite ready Right, there we go. So, next is going to be the spoiler. Custom spoiler 1. Doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look as good as custom spoiler 2, though. I think custom spoiler 2 is more of like a ducktail spoiler. Lip-up spoiler. So, we'll go with that. Um, competition suspension. Race transmission. Turbo tuning. Right, wheel type. We'll, we'll stick high-end on these. Um, it's, it's more of like one of them luxury cruising cruising things. Chromatic Z in black with the custom tyres, bulletproof and purple tyre smoke. I'm not too bothered about that. And limo tint on it. All done. So 17 mods available for it. The Ocelot Jackal. Um, it doesn't look too bad. It's, it's There's not enough. Um, but there is enough. If that makes sense. There's not enough but there is enough. Yeah that, that does make sense. Um, it's, yeah, it's just one of them sleek looking. It's, it's you know what it kind of reminds me of as well. A bit of like um, a BMW M5 or something. It's it's that it's that car that is very just sleek looking. Nothing exciting like the coil vaulting. It doesn't look exciting, um, and you know it's got power. Um, yeah, it's just one of them. <laughs> it's just one of them cars. But um, I say, if you enjoyed this episode, smash. If you enjoyed this episode feel free to leave a like on it add it to your favorites all that good stuff um, if you want to see more feel free to subscribe I would appreciate that um, it just gives me a rough idea of every day when someone new subscribes that I'm, I'm doing something right <laughs> but yeah I'll, I'll say it don't look too bad it looks kind of nice it's got that light sort of wide arch look as well at the rear um, but there it is Ocelot Jackal I hope you enjoyed the video Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.